2020 has been a massive disaster for all of us PC builders. Now we are in 2021, we cannot find a single GPU in the market. Not even in major websites, not even in UK, all over the world we cannot find a GPU. Whether if it is a brand new GPU or a very old GPU like RTX 2080, 2080 Ti, 1660, 1650, we cannot find anything in the market. They're all gone. So uh, because of that, I decided to build a PC without a GPU and I'm going to install GPU dedicated games on that PC and I'm going to do the benchmark and see how it works. And then I will decide, do we really need a GPU to actually play games? Before we go ahead with the parts list, please go ahead and subscribe the channel and click on the notification button. That way you won't miss a single upload right then. I'm gonna be using for this build this bad boy here AMD Ryzen 3 3200G CPU this one has 4 core 4 threads 3.6 base clock and up to 4 gigahertz boost clock if you want if you have a better motherboard you can overclock this uh, processor there's no problem with that speaking of overclocking I'm gonna be using B450F Gaming from ASUS. This motherboard can be overclocked easily, so I'm going to use this motherboard. I have only one RAM stick available in my hand from Crucial. This is 8GB, 2400 MHz DDR4 RAM module. I wouldn't recommend that single RAM, but this is the only RAM I have, so I'm gonna use that. And who knows? what's gonna happen and also I'm gonna be using 250GB NVMe SSD mm. let's go ahead and build the system now this is our system I installed 250GB NVMe drive and system power up by CX750M power supply 750 watt power supply is overkilled but this is the power supply I currently have I connected my wireless keyboard with the trackpad and I'm downloading GTA 5. GTA 5 is one of the CPU and GPU hunger game so let's see the benchmarks after we install the game
have a look at the FPS count. Let me know what you think of the FPS count. And if you know how to increase the FPS, just comment below. If I were install like 16 GB RAM with the faster megahertz, like 3200 megahertz, 16 GB RAM would have been more effective. The RAM I used in here in this system was 8 GB 2400 MHz RAM. I guess has a recent FPS uh, not in good side. So let me know what do you think of this system. 